What up Sailor Senshi? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merchandise reviews. Today I have an unboxing that I've been looking forward to because I can't wait to try out all my new things from Premium Bandai. Now if you want to order things from Premium Bandai you have to have a Japanese address at least for the items that I ordered. Sometimes they ship internationally but for most of the items on their website you have to have some way to proxy a shipment over to you if you live internationally like I do. So I had to wait and kind of collect all these things into a bundle and then I had my proxy shipper package them all up for me and ship them over to the United States so I can unbox them for you right here on the show. So I've got one big box for you and I'm gonna go ahead and break into it. Here's the thing about my proxy shipper. I use, uh, what's the name, from Japan and they try to they kind of tape everything and stick it all together so it's really hard to get everything out of the box so this is going to take me a moment. BRB. <sighs> there we go. This is what they do. They stick everything on this piece of cardboard and stick that inside a box. It's a pain in the butt. Ah, oh, you put tape on the box? Guys, really? Come on. Why'd you put tape on the box? If this rips the box, I'm going to be pissed. Mmm. <laughs> They put tape on a cardboard box, like a collectible box. Eh. Okay, Whew. all right, I got that part off. That's good. Now I'll get the other side off. So you can probably tell what that was, <laughs> but I'm gonna get everything else out of this tape. It is really fun to open things, I will say. There's not really a rhyme or a reason to the order that I'm going to go in, so I'm just gonna choose something that's in my hand and then go through it from there. So the first thing that I have here is the Miracle Romance Music Box Starlit Sky Shiny Cream, and I got both versions of the Shiny Cream. Uh, this is a makeup or something, moisturizer, something like that. Really, I know what I bought. <laughs> I think these are like, they can be used as highlighters or eyeshadows, pretty much whatever you want. And they're basically just meant for your face. But there we go. Now that I have them out of the box, I will let you know what they look like. So both of these are based on the Star Locket, uh, the very famous one, the one that plays music. These, neither of them play music. But this is kind of cool how they're made. So you can flip up the first latch and you can see a really cute little prism, um, basically like a motif based on the musical box itself. It doesn't turn or anything. It doesn't make music. It's just, it looks like that and it's a little 3D motif. And then if you flip up the second latch, that's where you can access the makeup. So both of these makeups look exactly the same and I believe that they work the same too. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like they're exactly the same. I could be wrong. If I am wrong, I will put that information in the notes. But this seems to be a... Oh yeah, it's definitely like a soft cream base texture. There we go. And it comes out very white, like a white eyeshadow. This could be used to top eyeshadows to add some sparkle if you wanted to. It doesn't smell or anything, which is nice. I don't like it when it's super perfumey. Same thing, yeah, they're super sparkly. I actually liked like how uh, iridescent they look. So they could definitely add like some sparkle to your face if you're into that extra life like I am. These are cute. Uh, I will most likely just use one and then use the other for a display. So I'll have to choose which one I wanna actually use. Hmm. So the next item we have is a collaboration between Sailor Moon and Casalini. Uh, Casalini apparently is a pretty premium brand and this was one of the few things that I could afford on their uh, service line. So this is a really cute little cat keychain of Sailor Moon. So it's a little Neko Sailor Moon and I thought it was adorable. It's, uh, it's totally stuffed. It's like a little stuffed animal version of her, like a little doll. Creepily, it almost looks like one of those little zombie dolls. I don't know, is that a little weird? That might be a little weird. I like how it's made, it's so adorable. It looks very crafted, like somebody crafted this at home and then decided to sell it. Uh, which honestly, I'm totally like into farmhouse decor and stuff like that, so I'm okay with that. Oh, that's so cute. So this is the next item. I don't know what this is. Oh, right. Okay, so this is another collaboration and wow, I really like the packaging of this. It came in a really pretty little triangle box 
Ojaga, 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 Ojaga design made in Japan. And this is a leather, it is leather, it's real leather, it's a leather design. Uh, the one that I got is basically a key cover. So you can put this over your key and then it has a little keychain so you can stick this on a keychain. Uh, and then you basically just, you know, use it like a normal key as you usually would. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It looks very cute. It's very pretty. I really like this design. Looks durable too, like it'll last a long time. And there's quite a few layers to give this this compact on the front a nice 3D effect. That's really pretty too. That's cute, I like it. I'm gonna keep this in the box for now until I decide to use it, since it does look rather pricey. There we go, and then I will move on to the next item. Okay, so these next two items I believe are also from that same line as the cat, so Casolini. Let me double check on that just to make sure. Yeah, this is Casolini. So this is a simple tote bag, but I really liked the print on it. It has a Sailor Moon print, uh, which I have not seen uh, often at all. So this is a new print for me, which is very pretty. And I also like the really uh, chill print background on it too, the plaid. It's very pretty plaid. The inside of it also has a print. So on the inside, it says Sailor Moon Casolini, and then there's a yellow print with a bunch of the little Sailor Senshi signs. And that's about it. There's no pockets or anything on the inside, so it's a very, very simple tote bag, but this will be good for shopping because I don't get plastic bags where I live. This next one does have a dust cover on it. So you automatically know that it's gonna be a little bit pricier. But this is another Casolini collaboration. So this one has two pieces. I decided to go for the fancy gold because I don't have very much gold purses or any gold purses, I don't believe. Uh, but it is plastic because plastic is totally trending right now. And then it has a bunch of little cutouts of little crescent moons. Uh, this is a like a hand purse. I mean, you could use it as a shoulder purse, but it's better as like a little hand purse. It has a little silver crystal on it, which is very pretty as well. And the back of this seems to have a, is this a mirror? It is, there we go. So we also have a little plastic mirror on the back of that as well. And then on the inside, in case you wanna keep your things discreet on the inside of this purse, it does come with a little drawstring pouch that you can put all your things in. Uh, the drawstring pouch does say Sailor Moon Casolini on the inside, and then you just place your pouch inside of the transparent bag and use the magnetic closure to close it. There we go, and that's it. So very simple, very pretty, I like how chill it is. Next we have something and I don't know, I don't know what I bought. So <laughs> we're gonna open this and find out. Okay, this item does have a toy sticker on the back as well as 25th anniversary. I could try to decipher that, but my katakana is not that good. So let's go ahead and open this and find out what it is. Oh, oh. wow, this is much fancier than I was expecting it to be. Okay, so these are Sailor Saturn earrings and a choker set. So first we have the earrings. Uh, the earrings come with little plastic jewels at the bottom and then the top has some very heavy metal uh, Saturns, Saturn planets, just like her earrings. Very cool, very pretty. And the choker right here, also very pretty. Uh, this one does have a front and a back to it, so it's not going to fall off or anything. It slides back and forth, which is nice. And it's also somewhat stretchy, which is very cool because it'll be able to stay on your neck wherever you place it. It does have a adjustable back on it so that latch can adjust to whatever size you wear. And it's very, very gorgeous. I like this design. I think it's very beautiful. I think I'll wear this. I wasn't sure if I was going to or if I would resell it and not like it very much, but this is really pretty. And the metal on here is very heavy, so I'm pretty impressed with that. I'm glad too, because it was a pretty pricey item. The earrings also come with a nice little velvet bag too, just in case you don't wanna lose them or anything. Uh, this would be cool for like cosplay if you wanted to. Alrighty, and the last item on my list is the premium Bandai version of Princess Kakyu, the pull-up doll. Now, I'm not going to take her out of the packaging here, but I am going to do a separate review video of her, so stick around for that review video. That'll be coming out shortly after this one. Uh, but I do have 
two other pull-up dolls. I have Black Lady up there who I randomly found at a local shop for 150 bucks, which was amazing. And I also got Eternal Sailor Moon who I have unboxed and she was from Mandrake and she was, I think, $150 too. So I've gotten lucky with my pull-up dolls so far. I don't collect a lot of them because I'm not big into dolls, but I wanted to get a few of them, my basically just my favorites. And she is beautiful and rare. Like how often do you find Princess Kakyu items? Almost never. Uh, so she's based on Sailor Stars. Uh, she's one of the people in Sailor Stars. I'm not going to tell you her st whole story here, but it's, it's pretty interesting. Uh, and then the Sailor Starlights get involved trying to find this beautiful babe. So yeah, that is her. On the back, of course, we have the Toei sticker as well as the pull-up sticker to prove that she is who she is. We also have this annoying receipt on here that I'm probably going to try to take off. Uh, I hope that comes off. I don't like having these big stickers in the way. Those are annoying. But this one specifically came with, I believe, a backdrop so you can take photos of her. Not that exciting, Premium Bandai. I would have much preferred, like, I don't know, an extra outfit. I know she doesn't have an extra outfit, but I think that would have been cooler. So this is my Princess Kekyu pull-up doll. I will be reviewing her very shortly. So that is everything from Premium Bandai in this haul. I haven't purchased very much lately from them because they haven't had a lot of things that I've really been like, oh, I gotta have it. But there's a very few items that I have purchased that you will be seeing in a future video. So if you want to stick around and watch those, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to like and comment on this video and tell me which of these items was your favorite and if you want to see a future review of any of these items as well. A little bit more in depth. I will be doing the pull-up doll one, so keep an eye out for that video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Sailor Snubs and this has been a Sailor Moon merchandise unboxing and mini review. Jenny!